back, chimps. Today, we've got a 2019 Gibson Les Paul Jr. Billy Joe Armstrong signature in Fiesta Red. The weight on this guitar is seven pounds even. It's got a slim taper neck. The nut width is 1.69 inches. The depth at the first fret is 0.83 inches. The depth at the 12th fret is 0.90 inches. This guitar has just one single Zebra Robin 57 Classic in the bridge position. It's got a rosewood neck, one volume, one tone, one pickup, Fiesta Red. This guitar is rad. I say that a lot. That's because we have That's rad guitars. That's true with this one. But it's so I love this man. Oh yeah. It's so funny because you see it and you're like, ah, oh, it's not, it's not flashy. Uh -uh. I mean, it's cool. I think it's cool looking, but yeah, it's a. It's, I mean, but it's a pastel color. Uh, one of the things I love about it is like, you're seeing artists that do do like the Kirk Douglas. You don't have to be a Billy Joe Armstrong or a Green Day fan to buy this guitar. Uh. Is I don't even is the signature on the back of it no, like is there? There's nothing about Billy Joe Armstrong on here. Yeah, that's smart, man. Because because yeah, then if I don't like him, you know. Right. But I do like him, and I like I like the simplicity. I think what he does, you know, uh -huh. this is perfect. You know, it's all you need. Should we do some dirt? We can do some dirt on this. <laughs> Speaking of the one tone knob, there's, a, there's gonna be a ton of range. This is this is turn the tone turned down. <laughs> I love it, man. There's nothing to get in the way. There's no toggle switch. Yeah, and I mean, it, it doesn't have the bridge on it Yeah. with the wraparound. Uh, so it takes a little bit getting used to, but I, I like it a lot. I, I think I every really time like we, we review one of these, I'm blown away by what you can do with one, one pickup, one tone knob, and one volume. Yeah. And it's zebra, the bobbins are zebra on it. I love that. Yeah. If you've watched any other videos on Guitar Chimp, I always use the neck pickup for clean. Yeah. And I'm happy with the clean we got out of this thing. Yeah, it sounded really I good. I wouldn't need, apparently I don't need it. All I need is a tone knob, but. All you need is one 57 Classic. Yep. That's it. In Fiesta Red. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Sweet. All right, guys, on to the next. On to the next. Now that you have seen and heard Matt play this, let's get up close and check out the condition. Uh, I know in the beginning of the video, I said this was Fiesta Red. I was wrong. It's like uh, some sort of cherry color or whatever, but it looks like Fiesta Red. So whatever, if you want to call it Fiesta Red, you can, but the technical color, whatever's in the title is right. Uh, okay, so condition. I gave this guitar an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's just got some light scratches and a few small dings. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, we can just kind of see some light scratches on that pick guard. Nothing, nothing serious. And the top of the guitar looks really good. Got one, up oh, there it is, small ding right there. And you can't even, like if you're normally looking at it, this is what it looks like. But once you get this light up there, check it out. Yeah, so we can get right up close to it. We can get super up close to it, but you gotta get that light in there until you can get it to pop. Okay, that's because it's only in the clear coat. Rust of the guitar looks really good. Nice rosewood fingerboard. Check that out. The frets on this are great. Okay. And 
And front of the headstock looks great. Let's get this thing flipped over. This was one of those guitars where when they came out, <laughs> you could get these for like a grand. You can't now. And I remember telling myself over and over and over, you know, I should keep a pile of these because they're going to go up. And sure enough, they are going up. <laughs> okay, back to the headstock. Serial number on this one is 057900055. Got your Made in USA in the back. And the back of the headstock looks nice and clean, no cracks or anything like that. Back of the neck looks great as well. And the back of the guitar looks really good. Gosh, I feel like this 8.8 .8 is extremely conservative. But we're not done, so maybe not. I just got some light scratches. And what's that? I don't know, but it's gone. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Back of the guitar looks great. The whole guitar itself looks actually really, really clean. Cool.